We are people of faith from a broad spectrum of religions in our nation. We are children of God called to act on our convictions in solidarity with the most vulnerable among us. We are patriotic citizens praying and working for a faithful budget that serves all our people. God is upon me because he has anointed me. We affirm the government's role in serving the common good. Our faith traditions are diverse, but we are united in the conviction that God calls us to protect the vulnerable and do justice to those in need and all God's children. We do not wish to leave a legacy of debt to our children, nor do we believe that a legacy of poverty and underinvestment is any better. We are deeply troubled that spending cuts to vital domestic, international, and environmental service programs are under consideration as part of the ongoing discussions about the deficit. As a people, we are in a moment of crisis and decisions. Today, we took our prayer vigil to the rotunda of the nation's capital in an act of civil disobedience. We prayed and sang in a circle within a circle, with supporters surrounding us as we all symbolically encircled the millions of our brothers and sisters whose lives are circumscribed by poverty and want. A few hours in jail is a small price to pay to say to Congress, raise revenue, lift the poor. Join us, take action. Let the President and Congress know that a faithful budget cannot cut programs that are the safety net for millions of Americans of every age and in every state. Sign our letter at www.nccendpoverty.org.